here we are. Another promo mania. Another promo mania where I got roped into doing these things, which God knows, I don't know why I let myself get talked into doing these damn things. But nonetheless, here we are. Promo mania 2024. Now, in case you dorks don't know who I am, I'm the reason why promos even exist in Max Wrestling. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the progenitor of this all. My name is Robert Davis. And to be honest with you, Dan, I had every intention of coming on here today and just verbally eviscerating you, but I don't think I really want to do that. Um, I don't even want to be, you know, the collector or, you know, the shooter, essential. Um, I don't even want to be the progenitor. I just want to be Rob right now. <laughs> you know, we've been doing this a long time. Um, we started this together and, uh, we've seen a lot come and go. And, uh, you know, I was going to talk about you know, all the characters that you came up with and how they were just utter crap and just mere knockoffs of things that I've done. Uh, the seer, you know, the only thing you ever saw was you getting the crap kicked out of you. <laughs> but, you know, uh, you stuck by that. You know, I was going to berate everybody and you know, the second and third generation of competitors that have come and gone in the promo league series, whatever the hell we're calling this now. You know, we've got a bunch of soulless gimmicks from people that don't have the heart for this. It just breeds the death of creativity. Uh, it's something that's just kind of lost its way. And I was even gonna tear you a new one about stealing one of my characters i was the shooter long before you even picked up a gun you know and then that's that's just funny to me but at the same time i i know you know what it's like now to have you know someone steal your shtick and um you know uh i was really conflicted when you know, you asked me to do this, and, you know, we put this together, and, you know, we made the match, and there was really no build, and we really didn't do anything to make it exciting or worthwhile, and, uh, you know, the more closer and closer I got to the day to do this, I just really found myself kind of almost dreading it to a point, um... You know, I, I, I kind of thought to myself... The kingpin is alive. Guns are blazing. You know, just because you fit in somewhere doesn't mean you belong there anymore. And truth be told, I don't think I belong here doing this anymore. Um, it, it, it's not what it used to be. Not for me, at least. Um, I, know it's not, I know it's not what it used to be for some people. But there's no way in good faith I could have come on here and tried to play a character and tried to make this exciting. Um, this is probably the most exciting as it's going to get because this is not a character. This is me. It's really who I am. Um, so, you know, I don't know what else to do or say. That's the first. Uh, and it's caught on camera. Um, you know, Dan, I, I, I know you've got a bigger agenda in your mind. And, um, you know, everything that you said or going to say in your promo, I don't know who's promo is going to go first. But, um, you know, good luck with that. Um, I, I know you're going to do the right thing. So I guess I'll close this out. I must bid you adieu. Goodbye. Good night. Bang.
the final promo that I will ever do. Promo Mania has arrived. And a lot of mixed feelings <clears throat> work with Promo Mania. Um, I knew I wanted to be done. And I kind of thought to myself, you know, who do I want to work with? You know, there's a lot of people. I thought maybe i reach out to the Kingpin. See if he wants to go one last time. And I thought, hmm, been there, done that. Been there, done that, got the shirt. I thought reaching out to my friend, like Larkin, I thought, you know what? You know, I've done the thing once or twice. Then again, you all have seen that. And I thought of all the possible people, people that are still active now, and I, I looked at the crop of... I can't even say talent because, quite frankly, I don't see any of any. I don't see any of whatever you guys have. I, I see crap. So I thought, who better? Who better than one of the absolute OGs, the absolute icons of promo work? Mr. Crazy Eyes himself, Robert fucking Davis. A man who I have the utmost respect for. A guy who never needed, like me, never needed a gimmick. Never needed a name. Never needed a bullshit mask. Never needed a bullshit gimmick. I'm looking at some of you guys. You know who you are. He never needed that. And I thought... What a way to go out. Go out on top with one of the greatest OGs. You know, I think of some of the icons. And I spent some time. And I went through and I watched every single WrestleMania from 1 to 39. And I thought to myself. And I, got, I remember thinking when I got to Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. Undertaker versus Triple H. End of an era. That was what they booked the Undertaker versus Triple H in that cell match. And I thought to myself, huh, well, that's something there. You know, to, to quote the late, great Carl Weathers, got a stew going right there. And I thought to myself, who better? Who better than Robert Davis? One of the absolute icons, somebody that I have the utmost respect for. So, Robert, I want you to think about something. I see you as one of the absolute greatest of all time. But I also see someone who could have done a lot more. I see somebody that could have been the, the top promo champion. I see somebody that could have held this down on. The lock. kingpin is alive. Guns are blazing. And for whatever reason, that was your choice and that is fine. We all know who the absolute greatest champion that Max, has ever, Max Wrestling has ever seen is. We know what her name is. We know it's the Demoness. There is none better than her. But see, Robert, you and I, we have done this thing once or twice in the past. But to me, this is the end of an era. This is the last line. This is, you know, end of the line... There's no going there's no going farther from here. The ship is sailed. It is done pulling into port. Last call at the bar, as you will, as I enjoy myself a nice drink. This is it. And a wise man once told me is that if you know this is the end of something, that you are ending something, don't leave anything unsaid. Say what you feel. Say what needs to be said and then walk away. Don't harbor any ill feelings. So you know what? I think there are th some things that need to be said. You know, I have enjoyed doing these promos. I have never needed to do them. 
like you, Robert, you and I have done this dance. You and I, neither one of us needs to do this. Just viewed it as, you know, something fun. But you see, it's these people that do this, that have nothing better to do with their lives. And hate their lives so much that what do they do? They want to play wrestler. They want to play pro. And they want to do storylines that absolutely suck. Years ago, about a year or two ago now, I remember a promo I did with the captain. And I said, you have surrounded yourself to quote CM Punk with a bunch of sycophantic douchebag yes men. People that are going to tell you that whatever you do is good. They are going to tell you that, hey, this is a good pro. Oh, this is great. This story looks great. Oh, this, that. No. You need people like me. To quote Tony Montana, you need people like me to be the bad guy. You need people like me that will tell you what you need to know, not what you want. There's a big difference between what you want to hear and what you need to hear. I will tell you what you need to hear. And let's tell you, let me tell you what you need to hear. What you need to hear is that these cinematic promos are bullshit. They suck. You guys may think you're having fun, and that's great. You want to live in the land of make-believe? Okay, do that. But let's look at what has happened. Let's look at the crop of people you've got. Now, I'm not going to say it's talent, like I said earlier, because honestly, people you have now wouldn't hold a candle to some of the absolute monsters in the past. I'm talking about people like Mike Larkin, guys like Robert Davis, guys like... Lewis, guys like Amir, the old Amir, the Amir from the old days that went with Butcher multiple times had iconic quotes. Yeah, I said his name. People like Moni Lin. People that knew how to cut a promo and didn't need to have any stupid storylines. They're stupid. How many times do we need to see people break into somebody's house? Oh, it didn't. You need better stuff. You need better promos. You need better storylines because these are not it. How many how many views are you getting? Really? How many? So you know what? This is more than just a promo against Rapper Davis. This is a promo for me to mass wrestling. This is my swan song. This is me saying bye-bye. This is the end. My only friend, the end. So this is what... So if I'm going out... I'm going out in a blaze of glory. So let's look at what we've got. Last promo I saw was good old Captain versus the Mercenary. Jesus Christ. We got a guy who had to bring a baseball bat. We've seen that before. Hang on. Uh, yeah. Dazzy. You remember this? I brought this one out. You named your bat. Uh, who gives a shit? Not only that, but you copied. Almost verbatim. The Negan speech. Except to actually paraphrase Robert Kirkman's iconic work, The Walking Dead, this is Lucille, and she is awesome. Said by the great Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Now, I tried different gimmicks in the past, didn't work. And then I realized what did work. These shoot promos. Did I, did I mean what I said? Maybe. Did I not with it all gimmick? Maybe. I'm going to let you all wonder about that. Did Dan really mean that? 
was he really shooting? But what's funny, what is funny about that is that after I started doing it, other people did it. I know. You all started doing it. You all started copying and doing the shoot promos because, hey, it worked. Because the cinematic is fucking lame. It's cool once in a while, but when it's every fucking thing, it, it doesn't work. What happened to the old school promos? I'm just hanging the camera, uh, holding up a camera and saying, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to say and be done with it. No edits. Hell, I would much rather see a car promo than a cinematic bullshit every fucking week. Let's be real here. Let's be perfectly honest with that. Also, I remember good old Mike Larkin, a person I actually consider a good friend of mine. I have seen the promos on him. I, I couldn't tell you who the last one was because, quite frankly, I don't have the time for it. I skim it. And it's almost word for word the promo that I cut on him. You know, they say that imitation is the most sincerest form of flattery. So I guess by that logic, I should be flattered that people are copying my gimmick. Well, I'm not flattered. Write your own material. Do your own work. Find out. Do your research. And find out what works. Because quite frankly... Uh, uh you don't copy the original. I'm the I was the first one to copy and do the shoot promos, because quite frankly, it worked. I never needed to read from a script, unlike some people. You know who you are. I never needed a gimmick. I never needed a name. I never needed any of that. See, to me, this was always supposed to be fun. This was supposed to be something that I could do to to occupy my free time, which a quite pretty much anymore, I don't have a lot of. So that brings me to why am I walking away? I am walking away because there's nothing left. I stare at the landscape that is Max Wrestling, and I look at who's who's who, you know who who who's still occupying you know the the, the landscape. Chad, I pretty much pretty sure I, I'm being him. You know, Teddy, you're still doing it. Good for you. Found there, done that. Dazzy, whatever. Mo, you and I've done the done the thing a couple times here or there. Nothing better. No, no, no nothing else to do. And I will say this in near closing. The television championship. That initially was supposed to be television rules, no cinematics, nothing. It was supposed to be straight up, old school promos. That's what that was supposed to be. But, surprise, surprise, it's back into being cinematic. Because y'all have nothing better to do. Y'all do the same cinematic. You're just going to go back to the same thing. Oh, the, you're going to hand it to this person. Oh, you're going to hand it to that person. I would challenge you to do one month. I'll do two. Do three. Without a single cinematic promo. Go old school. Why not? I, I would propose this to you, Captain. To you, Dazzy. I consider you a friend. And I'm going to be brutally honest with you because quite frankly you need it do an old school do an old school promo event where there's no cinematics there's nothing just old school straight up you get your camera you record you do it in the car you do a car promo you do whatever you do that you see what works you try that and I guarantee you Desi I guarantee you it would work you would get the views you would get people that would tune into that you would get old school promos back it can be done and it can be done very very well you know I am reminded of a promo 
between Triple H and Seth Rollins where he had mentioned that the heat is on. Do you cave under the pressure or do you turn into a diamond? Have old school promos. Have an entire event where it's just old school promos. People just cutting the promo just saying, hey, this is what I'm going to do. This is it. This, that, and the other. Done. Walk. Do it. I challenge you to do it. Do you have the stones to do it? Or are you going to continue with your cinematic fucking bullshit that we see, you know, every fucking week, month, day, whatever? That, quite frankly, most people couldn't give two shits about. Prove me wrong. I would love to be proven wrong. Robert, back to you. I have the utmost respect for you, what you have done, what you have been through. But you see, I have looked into those eyes. People in the past have been intimidated by those crazy eyes. People that fear death. People that fear the unknown. But let me tell you, I look into those eyes. I see that unknown. I see the other side. I see the danger, the fear, the trepidation. Yeah, I see the unknown. Where most men are afraid. Where most men are afraid to venture because they are afraid to push their own limits. To think, can I do that? Can I be that guy? I, 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 wanna be, I, I like who I am. Robert Davis, I am not afraid of that person. You see, there comes a point in a man's life when he has to look in the mirror. And he has to square with the darkness that exists inside all of us. Most people run from that darkness. Me? No. I have met my darkness. I have met the evil inside. And that evil inside, the one that exists inside you, exists inside me, exists inside every single creature, person, man, woman, child, everything evil that exists inside this world I acknowledge it I know it exists I will bend it to my will I am not afraid to face the darkness I am him I am that evil side of me I know who I am Robert Davis you and I have done this once before, twice before, whatever. You made your choice to accept this, and I thank you. I thank you for going on that last ride with me, being the end, being the end all. Because to me, there are three people that I consider on the upper echelon of the be all end alls. You, Demoness and Mike Larkin. I also consider you know, Amir people that I know cut a great promo, can cut, can tell a great story. Robert, thank you. Thank you for indulging me in all this. And to everybody else, this has been a journey. I have enjoyed telling these stories. I wish you all the very best. And I would leave this in closing to you. Put passion into what you do, whether it's promos, life, whatever. Have passion in what you do, whether whatever it is. Have fun. Give your best in absolute everything, and you will get that in return. So to you, Slanja.